job hunting has been hell on earth. <laughs> See, I'd usually want to sit in front of a camera and pretend to be at least a little bit happy or at least a bit more positive about these things, but that's part of the reason this video has taken so long for me to record because I guess there's a part of me that's not really happy with any of my takes because all my takes just feel not disingenuous because I'm still being honest, but they don't feel like they're conveying my honest feelings entirely. This job hunt for the past four months has made me want to run my head through a wall. <laughs> In as simple as terms as possible, it has been very frustrating. But it's been mixed in with a lot of teachable moments and i'll start with one of the ones i've had to relearn very recently which is to be grateful because i've watched a lot of my friends who i studied undergrad and masters with achieve some of the biggest dreams they had going in and work for some of the biggest publications out there and i'm fortunate enough now to be able to say oh I have friends who work for big national publications, big global publications in fact, and I've known these people for years. But then the more I saw these people achieve these jobs, whether they would go on to become journalists, social media managers, communications officers, or work in marketing, I'd find myself becoming more and more bitter by the day because I'll wonder, why isn't this happening for me when I'm similarly qualified, similar intangible, similar skills? And as a result, I became very bitter. I was angry all the time. I still am a bit angry now, to be honest, but I had to calm myself down and realize everyone's journey is very different and you're never truly gonna be the most qualified person you can be. You'll always lack something to somebody. These people are just my friends at the end of the day or people that I was happy to work alongside and I've watched them go through similar trials and tribulations that I had to go through whilst I was on my various courses with them. And I've watched these people produce excellent work. Having friends in these high powered positions, in these positions with bigger newsrooms and stuff like that can only help me in the long run because say I wanted to change careers or get into a different company, knowing someone at this company now is probably gonna be a lot more useful. Even if it's just someone helping me through the recruitment process, it just made me have to appreciate my journey and be grateful that I know these people and be happy for them because the same way I'll tell these people well done you deserve it all this stuff I'd like someone else to do that for me because frankly we all need a job in this economy and speaking of this economy it's made everything 10 times more competitive than it usually is because obviously the cost of living crisis is going on and as a result, everything's more expensive, wages aren't going up, and employers are going to clutch their damn pearls like no tomorrow. And as a result, they're going to be trying to find people who have any intangible that could show them to be someone who'd be willing to work for less, potentially. Because everyone's being more competitive for a smaller pot of gold that's ever evaporating. Throughout my masters, actually, there was bits of work experience that I couldn't do because they had a sudden reshuffling in the company. There have been jobs I've applied for recently where literally it would have been a dream placement, internship, whatever it was, would have paid me well too, but then because of reshuffling in the company, they no longer had those positions open and I couldn't go and work for them. I couldn't even get through any stage anymore, which made the whole process feel really frustrating, but it's just something I had to keep in mind that just made me realize that I'm not alone in all of this. There's other people going through this exact same situation, even if they're in a different industry. And then more recently, I've had to learn sometimes things just happen. You will slip through the cracks. You'll never truly be qualified enough for even an entry level job at this stage. I say that because I was rejected from a news agency very recently, a few weeks ago. I think early December to be exact. I got rejected from a news agency for a lack of experience, even though I have news agency experience. In late November, when I was just getting back from Nigeria, so maybe two weeks before the news agency job happened, I had been ghosted by a broadcast journalism job for a massive publication that has a ton of radio stations, listens to all across the country. It would have been great, but they basically told me I made it through the first stage, told me to send them extra details. I'd do that only for them to ghost me. And these extra details weren't anything crazy. It was just getting through the first stage with this company 
was a surprise for me because I usually get get that email of you haven't been accepted, your application wasn't good enough, we're moving on. That generic email, I usually get that fairly quickly. And then this rejection didn't even give me that satisfaction. It bothered me because I get through the first stage of this big company, I'm excited and it would have been a dream job, but then only for them to ghost me and not get back to me is frustrating. And I've seen that they haven't relisted the job. So it's not like I can tell anyone or contact anyone. And yeah, it just sucked to be ghosted randomly at a job that I thought basically a dream job. It was a massive kick in the teeth recently, massive kick in the teeth. No matter where I go, when I get a job, there's going to be a level of lifestyle inflation because I'm going to have to move out. And although journalism salaries aren't the best, this is the one thing I'm not overly worried about because I've always been decent with like managing my money. But then now it's just shifting from managing money to actually saving it to make sure that I can pay my rent and still live comfortably wherever I'm at. <laughs> Unless I'm in London, then in which case the idea of living comfortably just kind of goes out the window because <laughs> everything is expensive in that part of the country, I swear to God. I do not understand why everything in London is so unbelievably expensive. Although this job hunt has been something that has annoyed me to no end and at points been incredibly frustrating, it's not all bad because it's led to me making necessary changes that I've had to make. So from that conversation I had with the recruiter, I made two different CVs, one that's more journalism focused, one that's more general media focused. So I stopped getting rejected from jobs that I'm technically qualified for, but it didn't show up properly on my CV. Cause there were probably some mistakes I was making on there that I'd never realized. Hopefully my video helps you just understand what I'm going through in terms of trying to get a job in journalism. And honestly, I look forward to trying to make more content when I'm hopefully employed, because the more I say it, the further it seems to become from a reality. So we'll see in a bit.